Welcome to Top Solid 7. In this video, we're going to focus on the creation of drawings, including showing how to create views, how to add dimensions, and annotate your part. To get started, the first thing that we're going to want to do is load the assembly that we'd like to create a draft document for. So in this case, we're going to open up that document directly. Now, while this isn't required, it's nice to see what it is you're going to create a draft for before you create the draft. From here, we'll pick the draft template that we'd like to start with. And then we'll choose the document that we're going to reference. And this is to fill out the title block for us. Now we're going to go ahead and insert that assembly. And as you can see, the views are created very quickly. From here, we're going to ask the software to auto-scale those views to fit on our document. Next, let's create an interrupted view. Here you just simply select the view, and now we're just going to draw a couple simple lines defining where we'd like to interrupt this view by. After we've added these lines, we're just going to exit out of the interrupted view, and now we're going to set the specific line properties that we want to use, perhaps the line pattern and the color, and like that the interrupted view is complete. Next, maybe we want to add another detail into this drawing. So here, let's go and open the subassembly for this. And let's make a view of this little subassembly. So quickly, we'll say show in project tree so we can find it. And then we'll just drag and drop it out of the project tree directly into our draft environment. Here, we'll change the scale real quick. And now we're going to zoom up on this and say, you know what, we don't like that orientation. So we're going to use our orientation sphere and rotate that view around to get it exactly how we want to display it. And like that, we have the view exactly how we want it now. Now we're going to zoom up on this view and add a couple more details. For example, maybe we'd like to display all of the axes on that view. That'll make detailing simpler. And now we'll add a basic dimension just to give the overall width of this. And from there, maybe we'll add another dimension for the thickness of the sheet metal enclosure. Maybe an overall dimension as well. And watch this. As we go up to this arc, you'll see a bunch of key points pop up. This way you can pick exactly the point dynamically that you'd like to hook the dimension to. You don't have to do anything special to do this. It's just the nature of the draft environment inside of Top Solid 7. Next, we'll add a note. Call it to control, maybe. We'll locate the note and select what we'd like to point to. Maybe we'd like leaders on those notes. No problem, just drag them off, and the leaders are automatically added. Finally, we'll finish by showing you a nice picture of the finished machine. 